With COVID vaccines being given to most of us, but with more COVID strains developing, the risk of getting COVID infection with these new variants continue to hound us. We know from previous studies that due to its large accumulation in the nasopharyngeal region and transmission through respiratory fluids, its spread among people is extremely high. So the question, therefore, is how about using a nasal spray to help reduce the chances of us getting COVID-19 infection, wherein the nasal spray can be used as a barrier, or can it help decrease the viral load in the nasopharyngeal region and thus prevent getting the infection and help prevent the spreads of SARS-CoV-2? Let's watch this. Recently, a new study led by an expert from the University of Australia published in the Australian Journal of Otolaryngology showing that nasal spray indeed may have an important role in preventing COVID-19 via its virus killing potential and therefore could be an effective barrier in reducing the spread of COVID-19. This study used a specific nasal spray called nasodyne nasal spray, which is based on a povidone iodine content, what we call as the uh, betadine nasal spray in our country, the same active ingredient also found in betadine throat gargle, which is pretty familiar to most of us, as this has been in the market for almost a decade as a treatment for the common cold. Now, the data clearly showed that exposure of the virus for 15 seconds with the spray reduce the infectivity of the SARS-CoV-2 by as much as 97 or 99%, while 60-second exposure completely eliminated the viral infectivity. Now, this data, therefore, is pretty good because it has a huge impact specifically for the global community as this may, in a way, protect and keep us safe as an added layer of protection for most of us as we start eating in restaurants where we have to remove our mask. Similarly, I just traveled uh, domestically and to an Asian country, and I've noted that a lot of people are already at airports queuing the check-in counters and some eating in restaurants without the mask. So the concept, therefore, of nasal spray was subsequently researched in a recent pilot study of six COVID-19 patients, which showed that a single spray of the povidone iodone nasal spray reduced the viral shredding in five of six patients, meaning 83% effectivity at five minutes after the dose, with an overall 79% reduction in viral shredding at one hour after the dose. So this laboratory as well as pilot human study results are definitely good for news for me and very encouraging. And hopefully soon, we therefore can expect a more thorough study to assess if repeated doses of this nasal spray over several days can indeed suppress SARS-CoV-2 from infecting people and also if it can truly eliminate viral shredding among patients who are already infected with COVID-19. We all know that there are several products in the market with regard to nasal spray. There's also one other great potential spray that has the potential to attack us from COVID-19 infection is one that contains a nasal muco adhesive gel technology that potentially can also reduce the SARS-CoV-2 coronavirus infection of cells like the ones present in what is commonly called the VIX nasal defense spray. Now, a standard antiviral lab test showed that this nasal mucoadhesive gel formulation, when combined with the SARS-CoV-2 virus, reduced the level of SARS-CoV-2 virus 
by as much as 99.5% at one minute exposure. And the test showed greater further reductions of the virus the longer the exposure was. So this data therefore clearly suggests that this nasal mucoadhesive gel may in fact reduce SARS-CoV-2 virus infection of cells and therefore can have a potential impact for long-term added protection against COVID-19. However, again, a disclosure. At present, there are still no concrete data or studies that have been done yet among humans to really confirm whether the technology can offer a protective benefit against SARS-CoV-2 in humans. But this is all I can say. If you use it for now, you can because it is safe to say that to be effective in fighting COVID-19, a global management strategy is needed for this COVID-19 pandemic. And the response relies heavily on an effective vaccination, which we all agree for all, including boosters and compliance, of course, to preventive strategies to reduce airborne spread of the virus, including, of course, masking, efficient masking, and social distancing. However, the new data on nasal spray could also change our behavior in protecting ourselves against COVID-19 infection to use it as a barrier in case we are able to inhale viruses in the air, just as we are currently used to regularly disinfecting our hands, protecting ourselves by masking, we may as well start making it a habit of disinfecting our noses. Again, this is Dr. Jerry Tan. Stay safe. See you again soon.